Hi, welcome to the series Maths is Easy, Maths is Fun. In this video, we will start our basic discussion about circles and semicircles. Circles, as we know, circular structures, it has a center, and then from the center towards the edge of the circle, if you draw a straight line, that is the radius of the circle. You can use that, you know, and draw the entire circle. The next thing is the diameter. The diameter is nothing but a segment that moves from one end of the circle to the other end of the circle passing through the center. The diameter has to pass through the center. That is nothing but the diameter and the length will be two times that of the radius. So that's why we say diameter is equal to twice radius. The next thing is the perimeter or the circumference in the circle. So that's the total length of the curved structure. The circumference of a circle is given by the formula 2 pi r and the area of a circle is given by the formula pi r square. Now let's say we have a semicircle as the name suggests semicircle. It is half that of a circle. In this, there are two variants. Variant 1, where we are just looking at half the circle and we are only concerned about the curved part. Then we can say the area of the semicircle is pi r square by 2 and the circumference is pi r. Why? Because the total circumference of the circle is 2 pi r. 2 pi r divided by 2 is pi r. So, circumference of the semicircle is pi r and perimeter only the curved part is pi r. The other variant that you can have is you have the diameter standing over there and you have the uh, half curved portion over there as well. Area will remain unchanged. It is going to be pi r square by 2 only. But now if we say perimeter of the structure, the perimeter will be pi r which is the circumference of the curved part plus the diameter 2r because this also comes into the picture. Just review these concepts well. It is given on the slates as well. We will discuss some advanced concepts of circle in the next video. Thank you.